The Acme collection began in 1946. In the last 25 years though, the collection has grown to encompass video games, time-based media art, television, interactive works. It's a very eclectic collection. My name's Nick Richardson. I'm the Head of Collections and Preservation here at Acme. The Media Preservation Lab is a purpose-built public-facing lab. We want the public to engage in the process of preservation to understand the importance, the timeliness, the urgency of the preservation activities, and I guess also to understand that it's enormously resource intense. I'm Ben Abbott and I am a digital preservation technician. I'm responsible for the digitisation of all the analogue formats we hold in the collection. Before a film gets digitised, we have to take it over to the winding bench and manually check the condition of that film. That involves checking how much that film has shrunk, seeing if there are any damaged sprockets or tears in the film. It's not uncommon for a film splice to be very fragile after a film has perhaps shrunk over time. A lot of our home movies have been spliced together using a cement glue. Once a film has shrunk severely, it becomes quite fragile and likely to break. My name is Candace Cranmer and I'm Acme's time-based media art conservator. At Acme we use a Steambeck, which is a 16mm and 35mm film print viewing tool. After we check the shrinkage of our film prints, we pop it on the steam bet to view it, lace the film through the viewer and audio heads, and then feed it through and you can see the films in action. We scan all of our 16 and 35 millimeter film on a Blackmagic Design Sintel scanner. Before putting the film on the scanner, it is wound either onto a core or a reel. It is then loaded into the scanner and threaded across the scanning gate into the take-up reel. Once it's loaded into the scanner, I can control the playback using the computer. I can play the film through, calibrate the light source, focus the camera and start capturing the film. This is Collections 2K small gauge scanner. So this scanner looks after the regular 8, Super 8 and 9.5mm films we get in. And there are different tension settings we can use depending on the condition of the film. It goes through a little sensor here which is aligned with the sprocket holes of the film and tries to keep the film steady. We look to the past to help us inform ourselves about the future. It's important that we're undertaking new activity and in order to do that we have to be flexible and innovative and we have to experiment. If we don't preserve this material now, we miss the opportunity to preserve it into the future. 